Hi, welcome to Slightly Maggie, and I am Maggie Slight. Welcome to all of my favorite strangers. It has been a busy couple of weeks, so I want to apologize for not getting a podcast or a vlog out last week, but I'm here this week. <laughs> you see, I've been busy, and what I was busy doing was resigning my membership from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or the Mormon Church. When I became a member, it was under the President Thomas Monson, and there was this big push to, for everybody to embrace the word Mormon. And when the new president came in, the prophet came in, um, that's Russell M. Nelson, he decided that saying the word Mormon was an abomination and Satan was winning. Complete disconnect between one prophet and the next. And that just added to my shelf. Thank you very much. But that is not part of my life anymore. Um, and yet it is. I just, <laughs> uh, friends of mine over at Holy Human just published a podcast that uh, an interview with me that they did last summer. Um, so that was the interview. They interviewed me um, probably about four to six weeks before I felt that I needed to leave the church, which was my, um, the date that I said the prayer that, and I felt that I needed to leave the church and, I felt my creator tell me to leave the church was on September 9th. There was a lot of things that happened in the last week of uh, August and the first few weeks of September. And between September 9th and January 20th, which is when I submitted my resignation from the church, there were a lot of things that happened and a lot of processing that I did about that. So if you would like to uh, listen to me, um, and, and here's, here's another aspect of this. Maggie, Sister Maggie, and the personality Sarah Jane Smith were all very active during the time of that interview. Um, I'm not any of those particular personalities. Uh, currently, Ellie and I, I'm Marty, have been fronting. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> when different people front, when different identities front in a DID system, in a dissociative identity um, disorder system, we have different religious practices. And my religious practices are not the same as Maggie's and not the same as Sarah's. And I am much more of a natural witch than they were. I respect the people inside of my head and I respect their religious practices, but they're not mine. And we all made an agreement to leave the, the Mormon church or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We are no longer members there. So part of that, uh, and part of that process was to get rid of the um, domain name Medical Marijuana Mormon, because I'm not. <laughs> so that domain name is up for grabs to the next person who happens to get it. Um, I, I, I no longer own it. So I have no, I have no stake in it. I also gave up sistermaggie.com. I uh, deleted that website completely. And I'm in the process of editing my social media. There are some things around here and there that still uh, point back to a website that doesn't exist. But as I said, that doesn't exist anymore. So we're, we're, we're cleaning, we're cleaning our, our footprint up on the web and that's taking a good amount of time. We are keeping the site maggieslight.com because that's my site <laughs> and that's where my writing presence is. 
we're keeping a good herb in its time.com. That is where I publish about cannabis. And we're also keeping my me's and Y M E S B L O G.com, which is where I publish about, I publish very short articles and blog pieces about, um, the experience of living with dissociative identity disorder and that gets maybe one post a year it, it does not get very many posts i may use it more in in the future but i don't know i just posted on it about the religious dysphoria though i did a uh, cutting the cord ceremony um, i will include that in this uh video for those who didn't get to see it on tiktok uh the cutting the cord ceremony was incredibly, oh, it was incredibly freeing. I had taken one candle, I'd taken a blue candle and I'd wrapped it in the title page of my triple combination and um, really gave it the energy of the church. And I'd taken the white candle and carved my initials into it. And I put both candles, lit them both at the same time. And then watch, oh yeah, and I put the cord, a uh, uh, cotton cord around three times. And then I watched as the candles burned down. And when the cord was fine, it was interesting because the church's candle tried to convert the cord to blue. <laughs> the blue wax had, had, had gone on with the white cord and it was like trying to convert the cord to blue. But then my candle flamed up and, and started the cord on fire and it severed that connection. And it was, it was quite interesting to see because that's really how it happened with, with, with me. I, I flamed up and decided that I didn't want to be a member of that church anymore. So it was, it was cleansing though. It, it felt wonderful. <sighs> But that's, it was a ritual that I needed to do. They do rituals to get you into the church. They do rituals also in the temple to uh, perform uh, further uh, di distributions of power, if you will. And at no time do they really say that. But as, as a practitioner of magic, I recognize magic when I see it. And the practices that happen in the temple are magic. They are a form of magic. You don't do things in a repetitious, repetitious manner if there isn't ritual. Ritual is magic. You call it by your name, I'll call it by mine. And in performing the ceremony of the cord cutting, I took my magic back. The true believing Mormons call that magic priesthood power. I call it my magic. It's mine. I'll take it back now. Thank you. <laughs> last year, or last year, last, so I'm going to get completely off the subject of the church. Yay. Last week, I had an opportunity to advocate for myself at a sleep study appointment. It was an inner, it was an appointment pre-sleep study. This week, I have my sleep study, and because I was a good advocate and I explained that certain things that I needed to do at home, I, I sleeping away from home without my dogs is just not a possibility. I literally uh, rigor does pressure work before I sleep. Uh, Athena does pressure work while I sleep. Um, so it's being away from my, my dogs is just not, not a possibility. So I was able to advocate for myself and I'm getting a home sleep study and that's happening this week on I think Monday, Wednesday. Tomorrow though, tomorrow's exciting where health advocacy comes in. Tomorrow... I'm, I'm backing up because I got to show you. Tomorrow, I get my leg braces. Yep, I still got to back up. These legs are going to have braces on them. Yay! 
It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it's just, oh, I am so excited. So I get my KFOs, um, but I don't think these boots will accommodate them. So we'll see if my larger, I have a pair of boots that are um, one size larger than these. And I have some tennis shoes and I may have to buy a pair of shoes that will fit the KFOs. I don't specifically, I don't know, but we'll have to see. So, um, excited, very excited. That's a two hour appointment tomorrow. And you know, I'll be making some videos about that as it happens. So look forward to those on TikTok probably tomorrow and Wednesday. I'm excited. Also, um, my Robo cushion has a big hole in it. So Harper was able to get me connected to New Motion, and New Motion's tech person took a picture or had Harper take a picture of the label, which showed that the cushion was still under warranty. So hopefully I'll either get the memory foam cushion that my doctor ordered or I'll get a new Rojo or both. Who knows? Put up some energy for that one. <laughs> so there's been a lot of advocacy happening health health wise. And the last thing that I'm been asking people over on TikTok, but I will ask you here also is what color should I color my hair? Um, now that I'm fronting, I have to part of a new personality fronting. I haven't really been fronting in the, in the body for over nine years. So part of me fronting is getting my style, getting who am I? How, how do I want to present myself to the world? I'm cutting my hair off. <laughs> Again, I do that a lot. Um, the last time I did it was 2019. Anyway, I'll be getting, going back to the hairstyle that I had in 2019, which is the shaved side pixie. But this time I'm going to be coloring my hair. At that point in time, I had a very, I had salt and pepper with a lot of salt in front and little pepper in back. And then after that, I dyed it brown. So the question is, though, that I've been asking everybody, what color should I dye my short pixie when I get it? I'm going to do it around the equinox, around the spring equinox, because I just want that new, that new feeling, that new start, that spring. And my body and brain love the spring. It is my favorite time of year. It is absolutely my most painful time of year, allergy wise, but I love the energy of spring. I love all of the new life. I love the new growth. I'll wear an N95 mask to get, keep the pollen out of my <laughs> face, but I love spring and I want to celebrate spring. And this will be my first time to be able to celebrate spring in almost a decade. So nine years. Well, it's a time to wrap this up. Yeah, I know I didn't get to a recipe this week. This week, I am going to hint at a recipe because I developed one, but I didn't get it recorded or, or even written down. But I developed it and I will be fine-tuning it next month. So I will be publishing it soon. The recipe that I... <laughs> Oh, it tastes so good. So we made egg rolls and egg, egg rolls is, is a, it's basically a throwing together for me. It's a throwing together of all sorts of in, in, um, season vegetables in root vegetables and, um, pork and in a pork roast. And then putting that all together with a lot of ginger and a lot of garlic and then stuffing them into egg rolls and wonton wrappers and uh, frying them or air frying them. And we did both. But then I had the idea, I had some boysenberry jam in my refrigerator and I had some um, marionberry cider. Because I, I, I love apple cider. I love marionberry cider. I love ciders. Um, yeah, and that's something that I've been drinking every now and then since I'm no longer a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Oh, oh my goodness. 
<laughs> so I had some boysenberry cider, or I had some marionberry cider, some boysenberry jam, and I had some rice vinegar, and some amino acids, and some brown sugar, and some arrowroot powder, and I made a blackberry sweet and sour sauce. It's really, really but I'm going to have to get all of those pieces more fine-tuned instead of a smidge of this and a smidge of that and a smidge of this and a smidge of that. Oh, yeah, there's also uh, there was also uh, ginger in that. But I literally, I just eyeballed everything. Um, I'm going to have to develop it into a recipe. So as I do that, I will share it with you, I promise. <laughs> you guys, I want everybody to have... A wonderful week ahead we're headed into February tomorrow is February 1st have an excellent excellent February this is either gonna be weekly or bi-weekly I don't know but I'm gonna try to weekly I will try hold me to it hold me to it peace love and light from Maggie's light I love you <laughs>